<clears throat> let's see if this works. So this is take two. Um, well, hi, my name is Brody Taylor. I'm a pre-med student. I go to Weaver State. It's in Utah. Um, I've always kind of wanted to make a YouTube channel. I don't know, earlier on I always wanted to make a YouTube channel to kind of make like academic videos, you know, like, for example, we had to make videos of us showing anatomy on a person for my anatomy class. And I always really enjoyed that. And that kind of made me want to make an anatomy YouTube channel or something. But I've always wanted to make one. We'll see. We'll see if this even is a success or even if I have time to do it. But I would love to post instructional videos, but mainly give advice on the pre-med pathway to medical school. Right now I am a senior, technically I'm a fifth year senior. Um, I'll be graduating in April and then I'll be applying to med school in June. So <clears throat> as I just said, it's taken me five years to get my bachelor's degree and I'll be taking a gap year. That wasn't initially a part of the plan, but really that's how life goes. And especially as a pre-med student, that's how your life is gonna go. Things aren't always gonna go as you plan. Like for example, I was just driving up to Idaho this is spring break right now. And I was driving up to Idaho to spend some time with family and shadow, get some physician shadowing in this week. Cause you know, as a pre-med that's, you don't get breaks. You utilize your breaks to, you know, finally shadow doctors because normally you can't because your schedule or something like that. But long story short, as I was driving, there was horrible weather, huge gusts of wind and uh, I lost control of my vehicle and rolled it off the side of the freeway. So that was a bummer. Um, but that's life. Stuff's gonna happen. Um, it took me five years to get my degree because I was also a collegiate football player and, you know, you only have so much time when you're spending 40, 45 hours a week playing a sport, you know, whether it's paying for your school or not, you know, because I got my associates with a football scholarship but then I walked on later at Weber State. I'll get into that story later, but, um, you know, you only have so much time as a student athlete to get your clinical hours, your shadowing, your service. It's really hard to balance it all. And so I've been having a hard time finding a job or a volunteer position where I could gain clinical experience. But luckily this past month, things have started to work out. Previously, I had applied to over 30 jobs or volunteer positions just to be around patients and to get some clinical experience. And just whether I didn't have the qualifications or they didn't fit into my student schedule, because I have four labs a week till like four o'clock. So it's like most places work a normal nine to five, but uh, luckily I was able to get a volunteer spot in the McKady Hospital in Ogden in the ER and I was able to start volunteering with a hospice company in Ogden and I was able to get a job as a psych tech so in a crisis recovery unit so I think that'll be great patient experience for me um let's see what else do I want to talk about yeah I, I want this to be chill I don't want to I don't know how to edit videos I'm doing this all in one take I don't have a good camera I'm filming this on my iPhone I hope that it's recording because I flipped it around. So hopefully I even clicked start. Um, but yeah, I just, I want to make this channel just for a bit of a creative outlet and that hopefully I can shed some advice to any younger pre-meds. You know, I've got a lot of it. Me and my buddy, we started a pre-med mentorship program at Weaver State because we just felt like, you know, more, more knowledge needs to be passed down we probably would have graduated sooner and taken our MCATs a year earlier if we just had seniors, you know, maybe give us some advice when we were freshmen or sophomores. So that's why we started our program. And I can talk about that in a later video too, but we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully I can just help guide a pre-med to their ultimate goal of becoming a physician in any way I can. And other than that, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see if I even have time to make videos, but this is like the busiest week and month of my life. So much is going on. And for some reason right now, I felt like, you know what? This is the time to start a channel. So we'll see. Well, take it easy, you guys.